Hi, y'all. Okay, well, I'm in Groom, Texas. And we're traveling on Route 66. And we're finding some pretty cool stuff. Like that big baby. Isn't that amazing? This is supposed to be the largest cross in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's built in 1995. And it's supposed to be like 195 foot tall, 190, 195, something like that. But my goodness, isn't that amazing? And there's other stuff to look at, but I'm gonna take a walk around here because I'm sure there's more information on this baby. Us truck driving on I-40 all the time, past it all the time. Years ago, I didn't see all the buildings, so. so. Let's see. Okay, this is a placard saying exact replica of the Shroud of Turin. Sepulcher, empty tomb. Okay, so that's supposed to be a replica there. Okay, there's all kinds of neat stuff. Oh my gosh. You look up and it gives you vertigo. Versus. Look at the detail. Wow. People from all over the world come out here. People from all over the world come out here for sure. Second station. Oh my goodness. I'll just keep going. Wow. This is the fourth station. Yeah, and there's something down here. I'll take a quick look. Mm -hmm. This is a big heart. A cross in the middle of brick. Look at that. Oh my. Dedicated to the sanctity of life. Another one over here. We go around this way. This looks like it could be the Ten Commandments or something like that. There's a lot more here than it used to be. That's for sure. I don't know. Yes, the Ten Commandments. Huh. A lot of verses. Okay. Ah, the fifth station. Simon helps Jesus. Wow. It's getting windy, y'all. There we go. Sixth station. Mm -hmm. There. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Isn't that amazing? There we go. Wow. Alright, this is the seventh station. 
Jesus falls the second time. Oh, man. There you go. Here's the eighth station. Jesus comforts the women of Jerusalem. And the ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. Wow. In the tenth station, he's stripped of his garments. And he's nailed to the cross. On the twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. And that's up here. Go up there. Okay. Let's see. It says the pillar of truth. It's from First Corinthians. See what this says. There's different verses. It's about the Last Supper. Judas, St. James, St. John, of course that's Jesus, St. Peter, St. Andrew, St. Philip, St. Bartholomew. Wow. Let's go on up. Okay. You know what? You know, Greg's sitting in the RV right now. I think I'm going to take over the RV city and let him take a walk. There you go. Listen. Wow. I really don't know what to say, guys. People leaving rosaries, trinkets,
prayers. Okay. It says keep off. There's like a an angel with wings down here. She's beautiful. Could be a he. It's an angel. I go around. I go down. Yeah, I'll go down and around. I can do it. I don't know if you're a religious person or not, or of what faith. Oh. You know, it's just uh, still inspirational, I would think. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. We're going to the 13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Wow. And then the 14th station. Jesus is laid in the Holy Scepter. So, wrapped him in linen. Wow, guys. I've never been to a rest area as inspirational as this. This is awesome. Janet switched places with me. She decided to sit in the RV so I could come out and see this beautiful place. It is, it's gorgeous. This is the Divine Mercy Fountain. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. This is the Mercy Divine Reception Area. Wow. That's John the Apostle of Love. There's Peter. Philip. Bartholomew. James the Less. Simon. Fantastic. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV tube 
Come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend. Just sit right back in your easy chair. Strange RV Tours is on the air. You guys, I don't know if you're a Christian or if you have any faith at all in anything, <laughs> but this is very inspirational in different ways to me. Okay, so you guys. Onward.